The spiffiest giant in town. George was a giant, the scruffiest giant in town. He always wore the same pair of old brown sandals and the same old patched-up gown. I wish I wasn't the scruffiest giant in town," he said sadly. But one day, George noticed a new shop. It was full of spiffy clothes, so he bought. A spiffy shirt, a spiffy pair of pants, a spiffy belt, a spiffy striped tie, some spiffy socks with diamonds on the side, and a pair of spiffy shiny shoes. Now I'm the spiffiest giant in town," he said proudly. George left his old clothes behind the shop. He was about to go home when he heard a sound. On the sidewalk stood a giraffe who was sniffing sadly. "What's the matter?" asked George. "It's my neck," said the giraffe. "It's so very long and so very cold. I wish I had a long, warm scarf." "Cheer up," said George, and he took off his striped tie. "It didn't match my socks anyway," he said as he wound it around and around the giraffe's neck. And made a wonderful scarf. Thank you," said the giraffe. As George strode toward home, he sang to himself. My tie is a scarf for a coat, giraffe. But look me up and down. I am the spiffiest giant in town. George came to a river. On a boat stood a goat. Who was bleating loudly? What's the matter? asked George. It's my sail," said the goat. It blew away in a storm. I wish I had a strong new sail for my boat. Cheer up," said George, and he took off his new white shirt. It kept coming untucked anyway," he said, as he tied it to the mast of the goat's boat. It made a magnificent sail. Thank you," said the goat. George strode on, singing to himself. My tie is a scarf for a coat, giraffe. My shirt's on a boat as a sail for a goat. But look me up and down. I am the spiffiest giant in town. George came to a tiny ruined house. Beside the house stood a white mouse with lots of baby mice. They were all squeaking. "What's the matter?" asked George. "It's our house!" squeaked another mouse. "It burned down, and now we have nowhere to live." "I wish we had a nice new house." "Cheer up," said George as he took off one of his shiny shoes. "It was giving me blisters anyway." He said, as the mouse and her baby scrambled inside, the shoe made a perfect home for them. Thank you! They all squeaked. George had to hop along the road now, but he didn't mind. As he hopped, he sang to himself. My tie is a scarf for a coat, giraffe. My shirt's on a boat as a sail for a goat. My shoe is a house for a little white mouse. But look me up and down. I am the spiffiest giant in town. George came to a campsite. Beside a tent stood a fox who was crying. What's the matter? asked George. It's my sleeping bag. Said the fox, "I dropped it in a puddle. I wish I had a warm, dry sleeping bag." Cheer up," said George, and he took off one of his socks with diamonds on the side. It was tickling my toes anyway," he said, as the fox snuggled into it. It made a very fine sleeping bag. "Thank you," said the fox. George hopped on, singing to himself. My tie is a scarf for a coat, giraffe. My shirt's on a boat as a sail for a goat. My shoe is a house for a little white mouse. 
One of my socks is a bed for a fox. But look me up and down. I am the spiffiest giant in town. George came to a big squishy bog. Beside the bog stood a dog who was howling. "What's the matter?" asked George. "It's this bog," said the dog. "I need to get across, but I keep getting stuck in the mud. I wish there was a safe, dry path." "Cheer up," said George, and he took off his spiffy new belt. It was squeezing my tummy anyway," he said as he laid it down over the bog. "It made an excellent path." "Thank you," said the dog. The wind started to blow, but George didn't mind. He hopped on, singing to himself. "My tie is a scarf for a coat, giraffe. My shirt's on a boat as a sail for a goat. My shoe is a house for a little white mouse." One of my socks is a bed for a fox. My belt helped a dog who was crossing a bog, but my pants are falling down. I am the coldest giant in town. Suddenly, George felt sad and shivery, and not at all spiffy. He stood on one foot and thought, "I'll have to go back to the shop and buy some more clothes." He decided. He turned around and hopped all the way back to the shop. But when he got there, it was closed. Oh no! cried George. He sank down onto the sidewalk, and a tear ran down his nose. He felt as sad as all the animals he had met on his way home. Then, out of the corner of his eye, he saw a bag with something familiar poking out of the top. George took a closer look. "My gown!" he yelled. "My dear old gown and sandals!" George put them on. They felt wonderfully comfortable. "I'm the coziest giant in town!" he cried, and he danced back home along the road. Outside his front door stood all the animals he had helped. They were all carrying an enormous present. "Come on, George," they said. "Open it." George untied the ribbon. Inside was a beautiful gold paper crown and a card. "Look inside the card, George," said all the animals. George put the crown on his head and opened the card. Inside it said. You gave your scarf to a coat giraffe. Your shirt sung a boat as a sail for a goat. Your shoe is a house for a little white mouse. One of your socks is a bed for a fox. Your belt helped a dog who was crossing a bog. So here is a very fine crown to go with the sandals and gown. Of the kindest, kindest, kindest giant in town. Thank、you.